Good morning my dear students welcome to Zenit tutorials my name is Kavita Verma today i am going to tell you rounding numbers in a very easy and a simple way rounding numbers are of three types to the nearest 10 to the nearest 100 and to the nearest 1000 let's do one by one to the nearest 10 nearest 10 means that the ones place having 0. For example, here we have 3 types of number, 2 digit number, 3 digit number and 4 digit number. In 2 digit number, here you can say number is 20. In its 1's place, it has 0. In this number, here the number is 440. Again in its 1's place, it has 0. Here. It is 4 digit number, again it's 1's place having 0. So these numbers are already rounded off to the nearest 10. Let's do how to do this. So let's take an example, number 18. Here in the 18, the 1's place number is 8. Now we have to round off this number to the nearest 10. So what we need to do, we need to compare the 1's place number with the number 5. Here the 1's place number is 8. So let's compare 8 with the 5. 8 is greater than 5. When your 1's place number is greater than 5, in that case, you have to write 0 in the place of 1's. And you have to add 1 to the 10's place. So you will get 20. So when I round off 18 number to the nearest 10, the number is 20. Let's see another example. Number is 32. Here again, in its 1's place, it has number 2. Now I will compare this 2 with 5. Number 2 is smaller than 5. Now what we need to do? I will just write 0 in 1's place. And here I will not add anything. I will just write the same 10's digit number. So, when the 1's place number is greater than 5, you have to add 1 to the 10's place. But when the number is smaller than 5, you don't have to add anything to the 10's place. You have to just write the same number. So this is way of doing the 2 digit number to the round of to the nearest 10. Let's take a 3 digit number. 473. Again, in this number, I will compare the 1's place digit with the number 5. Here I will compare number 3 with 5. 3 is smaller than 5. In this case, what I will do? I will just place 0 in the replacement of 3. And I will not add anything to the 10's place. I will write as it is all the numbers. So when I round off 473 to the nearest 10, the number will be 470. Let's take one more example. 999. This is a very this largest three digit number. Again I will see my ones place number. My ones place number here is greater than 5. Now I will put 0 in ones place number and I will add 1 to my 10's place number. So here it is 9 plus 1 is 10. Here again 0. Here I will carry 1. Again it will be 10. So the round of number of 999 is 1000. When I round off to the nearest 10. Let's take a 4 digit number example. 6148. Here in 1's place, number is 8. Here again, I will compare 8 with the 5. Here, 8 is greater than 5. So, what I will do? I will first put 0 in 1's place. I will add 1 to the 10's place. And I will not add anything to the rest of the places. Just to the 10's place. Here, 4 plus 1 will become 5, 1 and 6. So when I round off 6148 
to the nearest 10 my number will be 6150 because in nearest 10 I have to place just 0 in the ones place. Let's see another example 7163. Here again I will compare the ones place number with the number 5. The number 3 is smaller than 5. Yes. Then what I will do? First I will place 0 in the ones place number and I will not add anything to any of the digit. I will just put all the numbers as it is. So when I round off 7163 to the nearest 10, my number will be 7160. Let's do round of number to the nearest 100. Here are some examples. Here is three digit number is 600. Again you can see over here in its ones place and its tens place. In both the places it has zero. Because when we round off to the nearest 100 it means in these two places we have zero. Here is four digit number example. Again, it is 7300 in its ones place having 0 and its tens place also having 0. Let's see how to do this. Let's take an example. 662. Here, the ones place number is having 2 and the tens place number is 6. We have to make both these places in the convert this number in 0. Here is some small change. When we do convert round off to the nearest 100, we have to compare tens place and ones place number together with number 50. Here the number is 62. 62 is greater than 50. So what I will do in both these places, I will put 0 and before that digit, I will add 1. So here it will become 7. So when I round off number 662 to the nearest 100, my number will be 700. Let's see one more example. 278. Here again, I have to compare the last two digits that is tens place and ones place digit with the number 50. Here again, the 78 is greater than 50. So what I will do? I will first put 0 in tens place and ones place and I will add 1 to the digit before it. So it will become 3. So when I round off number 278 to the nearest 100, the number will be 300. Let's take few more examples. 335. In this case also, it's one place is having 5, tens place is 3 and the 100 places again 3. I have to compare these two numbers that is tens and ones place number with the number 50. Here the 35 number I will compare with 50. 35 is smaller than 50. So what I will do? I will place 0 in the place of 1s and the 10s. Here because 35 is smaller than 50, I will not add anything to the 100 place. I will write as it is. So when I round off number 335 to the nearest 100, the number will be 300. Let's take one more example. 406. Here you can see in its tens place and ones place number, here number is 6. I will compare this sixth number with 50. Here you can say again 6 is smaller than 50. So what I will do? Yes, I will just add, put 0 in tens place and ones place. And because 6 is smaller than 50, I will not add anything to the 100 place. I will write as it is 4. So when I round off number 406 to the nearest 100, the number will be 400. Let's take an example of 4 digit number. 
let's round off this number to the nearest hundred again you have to compare the ones place number and the tens place number with the number 50 we'll come number 598 with the number 50 98 is greater than 50 so what i will do first i will put zero in the place of ones and tens and i will add one to the hundredth place so here it will become seven and four as it is so when i round off number 4698 to the nearest hundred the number will be 4700 let's take another example 3116 in this case in tens place and ones place, I have number 1 and 6. So, here I will compare the number 16 with 50. Here the 16 is smaller than 50. So, what I, what I will do? In place of tens and ones, I will put 0. And in hundredth place here, I will not add anything because number 16 is smaller than number 50. So I will write 1 as it is and 3 as it is. So when I round off number 301, 3116 to the nearest 100, the number will be 3100. Let's do our last topic that is rounding number to the nearest 1000. Let's see an example. Here the number is 3000. Here you can see at its ones place, tens place and hundredth place. All are having zero. When we round off number to the nearest thousand, it must have three zeros at its hundredth place, tens place and the ones place. One more example. In this case, you can see it is a five digit number. Again in this ones place, tens place and hundredth place. They all are having zero. So this is the already round off number to the nearest thousand. So let's see an example how to do this. 4116. Here in this 100th, 10th and 1's place number, this number I will compare with the number 500. Do you remember when we were doing to the nearest thing, we were comparing with the number 5. When we were doing to the nearest 100, we were comparing with the number 50. But now we are doing to the nearest thousand. So we have to compare with the number 500. So here I will compare 116 with 500. Here the 116 number is smaller than 500. So what I will do? Whenever the number is smaller than 500, we will just place 0 in the place of 1s, 10s and 100. And you will write just as it is your thousand place number you will not add anything. So when I round off number 4116 to the nearest thousand, the number will be 4000. Let's take another example. 3998. Here again, the number is 998, the last three digit. I will compare the 998 number with 500. Here I can see the 9, 998 number is greater than 500. When the number is greater than 500, what you need to do? First, you will put 0 in the place of 1s, 10s and 100th and you will add 1 to the 1000th place. So it becomes 4. So the number will be 4000. So when I round off 3998 number to the nearest thousand, the number will be 4000. I hope you have understood how to round off number to the nearest thing, to the nearest hundred and to the nearest thousand. Like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.